Right, Kiva, this is how I, I would go about it. So your triangle looks something like this. And we know that uh, for this angle, right angle triangle, sorry, this is right angle triangle. So if this is the right angle, then this here must be the hypotenuse. Uh, we also know uh, the three rules. So the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is the opposite over adjacent. So uh, we can also deduce that in a right angle triangle, all the uh, sum of all the angles must equal to 180 degrees. So 30 plus 90 is 120. Take that from 180, you're going to get uh, 60. So now what do I have? Well, I have an angle, 30 degrees, and I have an adjacent to that angle. So the adjacent appears here. So I could say that the cosine of 30 degrees, the cosine of this angle, is the adjacent, which is this guy, over the hypotenuse. This guy. So cosine 30 is 4 over the hypotenuse. There it is, written down. So what I can do is bring this part of it down here, and this part of it up there. And I get the hypotenuse is equal to 4 divided by the cosine of 30. And when you do that in your calculator, you're going to get 4.618. So this length is 4.618. OK. If I want to find this side, well, now I have the adjacent. I have the hypotenuse. Um, I could use the sine rule. I could say that the sine is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. Or I could use the tan rule. I could say the tan of 30 is the opposite over the adjacent. I could use either one of these. So I'm just going to take the tan. So I'm going to say the tan of 30 is equal to opposite over adjacent. There's the opposite. There's the adjacent, which is 4. So tan of 30 is the opposite over 4. So if I just bring this up, multiply both sides by 4, I'll get that the opposite is equal to 4 times the tan of 30, which is 2.309. There's your force, or three sides. Hope that helps. Good luck tomorrow.